It's just been a really, really long week. I know I said talk about embracing the downs, but it's hard. Like, you know, right now, like the feeling I'm feeling is not motivated, wanting to give up, sort of fears of maybe that, like maybe my, my goals are a bit too crazy and I'm a bit more than I true and I'm not capable of achieving the things I want. Now, obviously as I'm sort of filming this video, it's sort of slightly ter therapeutic where it's like, it sounds pretty stupid to believe those things. But the fact is like, my brain is sort of numb right now. I'm slow, I'm exhausted. There's no sort of dopamine. There's no sort of um, excitement or enthusiasm because I've just been just overworking over the last few days. Like I didn't get much sleep. Yes, I caught up with one of my close friends and we had a lot of deep conversations. Two days before that, I had a lot of deep conversation with other friends. This is sort of telling me how I should really be conservative with um, the people I spend my time with because I do have a limited amount of energy. Now, I do know that based on one of the previous videos I filmed that, you know, energy can be grown, it can be increased. And I probably did output a lot of energy and thought this week and I'm probably um, growing. And, and right now, the fact that I'm going through a down just probably means that uh, my brain is growing in capacity. Um, I'm listening to Elon Musk's interview with Lex Friedman right now and I'm like, damn, how does Elon Musk know so much? Like, I'm getting burnt out doing something that's so little. Um, it, it is a bit intimidating and obviously all these thoughts are coming because I am down. So bringing it back to the original topic is all I can do right now is wrap up the day early, you know, it's currently 8.21pm, you guys can't really see, I don't know how to do it, but it's 8.21pm, I sleep early, don't try to push myself, I just sort of succumb to this, this down feeling, it's harder said than done because it the, the feeling just feels so shit. Um, they can't help to fall into that sort of rabbit hole of just feeling bad and and, and not motivated and self doubt. It's easy to sort of fall into that. But you can sort of take a deep breath and just let it. So I'm going to work on and I wanted to do this video to show that hey, even though I am, you know, I appear successful, um, I appear like I'm killing it at a young age, but you know, it's not always ups, there's always going to be downs and hopefully by filming this video, when you sort of get to a same place, um, this can feel relatable then to you and, and maybe you can take on my perspectives of how I deal with this sort of state of mind and how I recover from it. You know, early sleep, oh, a lot of sleep, learning to embrace it, taking a lot of deep breaths, trying not to listen to much content, trying to just content detox. Because when I'm listening to a podcast, my brain is working and, and the fact that it's working is definitely not helping its recovery. It's just like if, if your muscles are torn and, and sore, you shouldn't do some light workout, you should just focus on letting it recover and that's something I need to do more often because I'm a bit of a hypocrite, I was listening to a bunch of podcasts and that sort of made me feel a bit more happy, but one, that happiness is only temporary, two, it's going to slow down the sort of recharging. Another thing is I'm going to make sure tomorrow morning I apply preventions. That means unplugging my TV, uninstalling my social media, um, making sure to block YouTube on Safari, turn on all my YouTube blockers, um, make sure that my alarms that remind me to, to wrap up the day are on, apply preventions. And that's going to help me really bounce back really fast. By the way, if you see me bouncing back in two or three days, as like crazy and, and how it takes you weeks and weeks to bounce back, don't worry, I've been through the 
the same place where I just was in this slump for like I would go on Instagram, I'll be on social media, I'll be on TikTok every day, I'd wake up and go on TikTok. Um, I've been there. You just have to slowly start working at it, start building solutions, start building preventions, start locking up your phone, um, and find things that really um, sort of distract you and give you that quick dopamine hit that you're looking for but that's not necessarily healthy for you when you're trying to recover so if you guys enjoyed this video my name is Andy Mun, the founder of studying.com I'm 20 years old 22 years old uh, we're on track to do a million dollars per year I want to sort of really impact everyone with my education company um, I want to sort of help as many people as I can with sort of just free education um, you know, right now it's paid because you know, I have to pay the bills and it's a really solid product. We have set up in a way where it's, uh, we only get paid when you get results, so it is still pretty unique. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I have nothing to sell you on these YouTube videos, and I just want to give you guys value every day. Peace.